Okay, so now if I right click this, it'll automatically tell me, teleport me right over here with this cool Enderman sound. So you can be just like an Enderman and teleport back. Teleport back. There we go. I think you have to be standing right on top of it. Yep. Hey guys, what is up? Beckbro Jack here, bringing you my next full tutorial. So today we're going to be going over the teleporters in Minecraft. Now, um, basically all you're going to need for this is a teleporter, which requires teleporter frames, which aren't yet textured by Sfax, because this isn't like the new update. Control circuits on the corners, and teleporter core, so a teleporter frame is just obsidian ingots with glowstone ingots. And then we have the core, which is a little challenging to make. Uh, you need lapis, lazuli, atomic cores, diamonds, and to make the atomic core, you're going to need some wrist alloy, some more diamonds, and some obsidian dust. So now, um, you're going to have to set it up just like this with the uh, teleporter on the bottom, and then you're going to have to put the frames around just like this. So basically, you're going to need to um, set up a connection. So I have mine on 001. You shift click to uh, enable the GUI. And then you can uh, hit hook it up to a battery box if you want to with some wire. Just connect to the teleporter part. Or I just put uh, an infinite battery in there just for the purposes of this tutorial. So right now we're just going to show you. You right click on this. Right. You can... Ah, never mind. Hold on. I'm still in creative mode. Let me just put this back in there. And let me get out of creative mode. I still, ah, get out of creative mode. Okay, so now if I right click this, it'll automatically tell me, teleport me right over here with this cool Enderman sound. So you can be just like an Enderman and then teleport back. Teleport back. There we go. I think you have to be standing right on top of it. Yep. Okay, so um, that's basically it. Um, the power consumption, we can test it out right now if I just take out these infinite batteries. Can take them out and then we can get back on and then teleport back. And if you right click, and then as you can see, just a little bit, it actually depends on how far you go. So the farther you go, the uh, more power consumption it will take up. So we're just going to set up a little teleporter right here just to actually show you how to make it. Just like that. And then we'll put in our infinite battery, which I have right here. And we'll put it on 1-1. One, one. And then we'll go a little bit farther this time. And we'll set up a different one. So this should be far enough. And it will should take up more electricity. And we're just going to test that out just to make sure. Because sometimes I am wrong. But most of the time, obviously, I'm not wrong. So put that in there. One, one. And then we'll jump on top of here. Make sure we're not creative. And boom, we're over here. Let's go back. And now let's actually take out the battery when it is full so we'll just wait a little bit and while we're waiting we'll get out this thing uh, called a portable no, not a portal a uh, portable teleporter so basically you can charge this um, in any sort of charger that you want this is how you make it it is just uh, energy tablets basic circuits and I already showed you how to make a teleportation course so this is how you make an energy tablet I showed this in my last tutorial on the atomic disassembler but yeah you can make this and you can uh, right click up in the air and then you can set it to um, a um, one of the teleporters so you can put it um, to any linked teleporter I don't really have one linked up right now I'll create one real fast here we'll go back we're just gonna test this let's take out the batteries let's go back and we'll go back and then we'll see how much power it consumed um, as you can see, again, not as much, but the farther you go, the more um, consumption it'll take up. So now we're just going to do one last quick thing, turn off this rain, and we are going to test out if the um, portable battery actually works. And while I'm building this, I'd just like to say that it does not work from like nether to, um, from like the nether to the overworld or from like the overworld to the end. It doesn't transfer between worlds. It only transfers uh, between between um, the same world. So you can have two in the nether. You can have, I'm pretty sure, two in the end. Um, yeah, so if you want to like transfer between bases, uh, you could just do that. They're not 
they're a little bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it in the end. So we have this here, this is on one, so we'll set this up. And I'm pretty sure the same things apply for how far you are. So yeah, we're just gonna fly really far away. Just test this out. Take out the battery. And we'll see how much energy it actually uses for our portable teleporter. It'll take energy when you use it from there. And then, but you can't go back to the same exact spot. You can only go in between two different teleporters. Like if I go, like say from on top of this tree and go to this teleporter, it won't let me teleport back to this tree, obviously. So I teleported here. And as I'm in creative mode, this took up 0.02. And that seemed to be a pretty good amount of blocks away. And it took out a little bit in here too. So this is just a very short tutorial on the teleporters that are glowing in the dark now. That's turning night. And uh, yeah, if you have any other suggestions for tutorials, please leave them in the comments below or any suggestions you have for me. And uh, my name is Beck Brojack, and I will see you next time.